Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome, make yourselves at home. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our channel, friends. For anyone that is interested, I do offer private readings, but please note the only way to book a reading with me is by visiting the link that's up on your screen right now. You can go ahead if you feel so inclined check it out you can see all the different kinds of readings that i offer and yeah if you have any questions for me before you book just hit me up i have contact information listed um, and i will get back to you all right friends so let's get to today's reading today's reading is for my singles and this is all about your love life um, what is it that you need to know and I mean, even if you're not sure if you're technically single, maybe you're in some kind of, I don't know, situation or entanglement of some sort. Um, this is just meant to bring you messages that you need to know regarding your love life. So we're going to begin by looking into your current energy in your love life. And hopefully that helps you identify that um, this is indeed your group that you picked. And then we'll just kind of be digging in to see what you need to know. We'll be seeing if anything new is going to be coming in for you. In the near future, meaning, you know, anytime in the next few weeks to the next few months. Um, and we'll just roll with it. All right, friends. And just to remind you, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. If you find yourself triggered or if I talk about an energy that sounds like it's someone from the past that you're completely done with and cut off from, I completely understand that. I respect it. All you have to do is click off of the video and you're not claiming it because it's not your story, right? All right, as always, my friends, we have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's go ahead and put her right over there and let's get to it. Today, we're going to be looking into your love life. This is all about your love life. We're going to see what messages come through for you today. We're going to begin by checking in on your current energy and see what's going on with you. Hopefully that helps you um, identify that this is indeed your group. And then we'll move into what you need to know and we'll be looking and seeing if there's anyone new coming in or anything new coming in. Um, you know, love, it doesn't just have to be romantic. Um, love comes in many forms. So let's see what you need to know. All right, friends, a reminder, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. If something does not sound like your story or if it's something that's triggering you because it sounds like it's a past energy um, and you don't want to claim it, all you have to do is click off the video and completely forget about it. All right, friends, let's go. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number one. My group number one, Spirit. <clears throat> all right, messages about love for my group number ones. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's currently going on in their love life? What's going on? with my group number ones in their love life. Please, Spirit, messages for my group number ones. What's going on in their love life? All right, we have the judgment. So you guys could have, I don't know, I just heard wiser. <laughs> Maybe there was a situation that you really learned from, a, a big lesson of some sort. What's going on, please, my group number ones? All right, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Four of Wands. I like this energy. Yeah, it feels like maybe you moved on from something. Some of you, this could have been a past person who maybe was a little manipulative. You guys could have even lived with this person. You guys could be like unpacking a lot. Um, you know, maybe not necessarily in this exact moment in time. Maybe it's been in the recent past. But I feel like there's been a lot of energy that's come up for you that's tied to the past. Um, maybe it's um, trauma or just examples of relationship or love or love that maybe you felt you didn't have um, as a child or in your younger years. This could have actually formed your idea of commitment or it could have something that's had some kind of influence on you. We have Scorpio energy coming through. Why the five of swords in reverse? Why the four of wands? 
Some of you are just focused on your goals, your home. Um, it feels like a lot of you, this is either someone you were connected to, or this is a stance or the approach that you're taking. It feels a little bit more analytical, more practical, more we think things through. Um, maybe a little cold or a little closed off when it comes to love. If this is a person you're dealing with, it's almost like you, the past is in the past. I do feel like the past, though, is something that you're either, like I said, there could have been some lessons or maybe you guys had some kind of awakening. Um, there's something here that kind of came back up. And I'm getting the feeling that you guys overcame something. Maybe that's why your focus isn't really on love. Maybe it's been on your healing for a while. I feel like I, you guys have definitely been taking some kind of break or it feels like we've been on pause here. All right, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Why the Six of Cups in reverse, please? So you've had to lay down your boundaries. Maybe there's children involved for some of you. Um, it's kind of faintly there, just bringing it up. But yeah, it feels like you guys had to put down your boundary or maybe you were aware someone could have manipulated you for a while. Or like I said, it almost feels like maybe you guys were influenced in some way. And um, you guys worked through that. Why the tower, please? And why the seven of wands? Wow, look at that. You guys are like, really, uh, you're holding the standard. I love this for you. Oh, okay. Group number one, you want it all. And I really love this for you because I feel like if you're going to come out of retirement, it's got to be worth it. They've got to be hot. The passion's got to be there. Bring you back to life <laughs> passionately, if you will. Work hard. Work on this. Work on themselves. Their work ethic is coming through as something that's important to you but also caring and emotionally mature and you want them to be a provider or you want them to be committed, loyal, stable, very strong energy here. And I know that what I'm describing, it sounds like the ideal partner for most people. Maybe that's, you know, that's a pretty common thing that people who are ready for a long-term relationship look for. I actually don't even know if you're ready for a long-term relationship. I just feel like you're like, if you're going to fucks with me, this is what has to um, come in the package. Or like, what are you bringing to the table? Um, yeah, because I feel like you overcame something. Even, even if it's you don't think of it as overcoming, it's still, I feel like there was lessons learned along the way. So if you guys do kind of have a past person or an existing person still lurking around in your energy, I feel like you're not really... Um, I don't really feel like you're concerned with them as much as maybe you were at one point or there's been some kind of tension. There's like water under the bridge, perhaps, or you're just like kind of like, uh. um, you might recognize when they try to weasel their way back in. This person could be a good talker. Maybe they're charming. Just beware. I feel like you're fully aware. There could be at some point, maybe you were manipulated or again, it feels like maybe you were influenced by someone else or something else. There's something unexpected here though. With this lover's card, it's like everything is as it should be is what I'm feeling here. There's something unexpected that happened with a connection. And if this is an existing person and this is how they're showing up, well, this is nice energy, but it's almost like you're like proven. You're not trying to get swept up. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like you're guarded. You're having a hard time trusting it. Um, you guys could be divorced or someone could be. And it feels like this, you know, you guys did have a relationship or do have one or there's this person that's kind of looming around you and it almost fits, but there's something about it that you're just not getting what you want or it's something here isn't what you wanted it to be. We have all signs showing up, especially Aries and Scorpio, Gemini as well. All right, let's keep digging. So if this sounds like your situation, my group number one, whatever that situation may be, 
you're on guard, who can blame you in these troubled dating times we live in. <laughs> All right, thank you, Spirit, for my group number one, please. What do they need to know about their love life? What do they need to know, please? Messages from my group number ones regarding their love life. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do my group number ones need to know about their love life, please? What do my group number ones need to know? Yeah, there's something here about truth. Like truth is very important. And it's almost like you cut, you're like, um, you're like, you're like cutting deep, you know, but not in a bad way in a, I'm getting to know you and I'm asking, um, they're real questions. They're important things. I do feel that there is a friendship element here and you're trying to gain some kind of clarity. Um, I see, I do feel. Okay, I this person, so it feels like someone's around you already. If they're not around you already, they're going to be coming in soon. And it could be through friends or you're, you're, it's an acquaintance. It's someone who makes you nervous. Maybe they have in the past. It's something that you hide, though. This is someone that um, either that or they could be the ones that kind of get nervous. There's some kind of edge to this. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, you have a hard time trusting them. So, yeah, I feel like you guys do have a hard time trusting this person. For some, this could be a Capricorn with that devil in reverse. Maybe they haven't really like taken control of the situation. Maybe there's been mixed signals, but there's something here about you cutting to the chase or your, is that a thing? Cut, cut to the chase. Yeah. Or getting to the truth. That's why I feel you guys either being like asking questions or getting to know someone like you're seeking clarity here. And I feel like there's a level of a little bit of nervousness or like anxiousness. You're ready for something to be revealed. Yeah, I feel like communication is going to be important here. There's something about, I feel someone's determined. Very interesting. I feel like there, this is already existing for you guys, but only you guys will know. All right, why the nine of swords, please? What do they need to know? My group number one. Okay, it feels like someone here has been nervous about getting what they want. Someone here has some kind of wish, and it's like, I wish, you know, fill in the blank. Maybe there's been a missed opportunity at some point, or work has been an issue. Someone left a comment upset over why I always mention work. Well, it's like, okay, uh, learn how to read tarot, first of all, if you're that concerned about it. Second of all, the pentacles. The pentacles tell me it's material world. It's either going to be work or something that you're focused working on. Um, so that's kind of what's coming up. There is either a workplace connection or there's nerves over something not working out. Um, maybe someone here feels even like a little friend zone. Um, Even though there's like nerves, it's like we're still happy. I feel you're being excited about something. And it's kind of throwing me off because it feels like there's a little bit of mixed signals. So you guys are going to be having fun. There's some residual energy here. I don't know if it's residual. I don't know if someone else is involved or there's a reason why there hasn't been clarity here in this situation. Maybe someone feels rejected. Maybe they feel friend zoned. Very interesting messages, my group number ones. What do they need to know about love, please? You guys definitely have like opportunities for a lot of fun, but it feels like something may be holding you back. It's almost like maybe you've been trying to make something happen and it hasn't happened, especially if it's with a particular person. Um, 
because it feels like maybe other people have been around. Maybe you haven't hung out with this person one-on-one or there hasn't really been an opportunity to like connect past a friend level. Um, so it feels like if that's kind of already sounding like what's been going on, I feel like there's going to be more of that coming up in the near future for you. I love this three of pentacles and or three of pentacles. That's interesting that I said pentacles, the three of cups and the knight of wands. It's like super fun. I feel like you guys are going to be connecting either in a, in a group. I was going to say either the friend group or there's some kind of celebration or there's something coming together in some way. All right. Thank you, spirit. Let's continue. Now let's ask the final question, which is, is there anything new or what is what's coming up for you in love? Let's see what messages spirit wants to give us today. Thank you, spirit, for these messages for my group number one. So my group number one, please. They have anyone new coming or anything starting up? What do they need to know about their love life? Please. Messages for my group number one. Messages for my group number one, please. And they're like, you're almost there. I feel like you guys have been wanting something for a while. And here's the thing, though. I feel like you're getting closer to it. We have the hermit. I feel like you you guys might be spending some time to yourselves, taking care of yourselves, self-care, and then here it comes. You guys are going to have some kind of new beginning. For some of you, it's a reconciliation. There's going to be some kind of connection that happens with this air sign that keeps coming up, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They don't have to be an air sign, but you would know it's them because they're they're not really like gooey gooey emotional they're more like they're very smart they're like intellectual they're a thinker right you probably have really good conversations with this person um and it feels like just when you're like oh man just when you're feeling probably the way you are right now something's gonna move forward this already feels like it is moving forward some of you it could be confirmation but it does come after a pause so you'll know this is come coming closer time-wise because it'll be when you guys are at a pause it does feel like it's a little bit out of nowhere and it gets you really excited it's when you least expect it. You're not focused on this person or you're not focused on today's the day. We're going to take that upright. Why the Queen of Swords, please? Look, earlier I said the Three of Pentacles and there it is. So if this is someone that you've only connected with in a friend setting or with other people around, it feels like they might be walking away from that or approaching you like on their own. It does feel this person's going to pop in with a sweet little gesture. I wouldn't expect anything super. It's not anything that's, you know, it's a big gesture from them. Like it's going to be maybe the first time or one of the few times that you've seen this kind of sweet side to them. Um, Cause it does feel like they're popping in kind of out of nowhere. They might even like take advantage of some kind of opportunity. Again, there's a feeling here of maybe they want to catch you alone or it, you're off guard. You're not shocked and you're not like not ready. It feels like you're in a good place, but um, it does feel like it comes when, when you don't see it coming. They're going to do something like romantic. Um, they're either going to bring you like a little gift or... Uh, invite you somewhere or extend some kind of offering um, and it's going to be sweet and this person doesn't normally do that and I think you're going to recognize that um all right so it does feel you guys definitely have it feels like you guys definitely have love coming coming up for you regardless of that pause 
regardless of that hangman and that hermit energy of being by yourselves. It feels like something is moving forward. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get some final messages from my group number ones. My group number ones, please. Messages about their love life. Oh, look at that. You guys definitely have love coming. You guys kept coming up with that magician energy. Maybe this is something you guys have been trying to manifest um, for a while. Maybe it's manifest with a specific person. Something's about to come to light. With that Ace of Swords, I was feeling you guys are, there's some truth that's about to be revealed, friends. Um, let me, I actually just got these new crystal, these new crystal cards. Let's pull for you and see if there's any messages for you. All right. Oh, those kind of came flying through. Shuffling those is so interesting. All right, we're too many. We have Red Jasper, which is justice, strength, stability. We have Angel Phantom Quartz, faith, healing, and renewal. Then we have Sunstone, leadership, confidence, and freedom. I love that these are all like in the Red family as well. We're going to leave those here. Maybe you guys have these crystals um, and this would be a good time to work with them. We have blue topaz, solar vitality, and amplify. And we have blue sp spinal or spinal, uh, persistence, fresh perspective, and revival. It's really pretty. That's what it looks like. All right, so yeah, maybe you guys have these crystals and this would be a good time to start wearing them or whip them out, cleanse them next moon cycle. All right, my group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Let's go ahead and put her right over there and let's get right to it. But of course, before we get right to it, I have to remind you guys, this is a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. Um, it's not always going to be your story, and that's totally fine. If you happen to hear something that you find triggering, if I'm bringing up energy that sounds like it's someone from the past that you're completely done with, um, I respect that, and I get it. All you have to do is click off the video and don't claim it. Um, there's, yeah, there's no, there's nothing else. You, that's all you got to do, friends. It's not your story, so don't worry about it. All right, so let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, my singles, or anyone that's in a situation or feeling a little stuck in love, um, what can you tell us, please, about their love life? What can you tell us, please, about my group number twos love life spirit? Keep dropping cards and that wheel of fortune keeps trying to come through. So we'll see if it ends up coming out during your reading. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please? My group number two is love life. What do they need to know? What's going on with their love life? We have a lot of you could be dedicating most of your time to work. Maybe you've been really focused on something. Maybe it's even putting in the work. I feel like this is something that keeps you away. Um, yeah, I feel like most of you aren't like active, actively going out there. It feels like there's a big emphasis here. Um, some of you aren't even really sure what it is that you would want. Do you want to date someone? Are you even open to that? Do you have anything to give? And it feels like in the meantime, you're like, you know what? I'm just going to stay in my little bubble. You guys are, have been feeling really dissatisfied. Or maybe there's been something that you've been waiting on for a while. And because you've been waiting on something to come to you, it's, uh, I feel like you're just kind of like, blah. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of uh, unsure, unsure as to what it is you want. And if you are sure as to what it is you want, I don't think that you know how to get it because there's just so many delays. Some of you could already be dealing with someone, this King of Wands. If you're not dealing with someone, this could be what you don't want to be wasting your time on or what you fear. Situations that look good, feel good for a few minutes here and there. <laughs> 
um, but they don't end up going anywhere. And there's the level, they don't commit. They don't even show any kind of consistency and you're kind of like over it, you know? You're like, there's almost an energy of just feeling, ugh, like maybe you feel in the past things weren't reciprocated or you overgave or, and it left you in a situation. Maybe that's what you're currently experiencing. Um, and it literally feels like, yes, there's passion here and they come in and they make you forget or it's when you least expect it. Maybe this is where you find your excitement, um, but it's just not enough to get it going anywhere. And there's a level of not really making a decision, not really wanting to start new or at least not wanting to start new consistently, meaning the times that you want it. That maybe it fades so quickly that it doesn't really leave you with um, a plan or like motivation to go out there and put yourself out there in some kind of way. Um, I feel like you're keeping yourself tucked away. <laughs> My group number twos, it might be with good reason. Like I said, you guys could just be really working um, and it's hard to put focus on that part of your life as well. Why the justice in reverse? Yeah, there's just, uh, there's a, uh, it's like, there's a hair in the guacamole is literally what I just heard. Like, it's so, there's just something that hasn't been able to take off. There's been false starts, the timing, the this, the that. It's like, there just hasn't been growth here. Maybe you guys went through a divorce um, at some point. If it's not that, maybe you went through a big major life shift. Um, it could have been a breakup or uh, moving away from home or uh, even a big life change that left you feeling a little unsettled. And because of that, maybe there's been delays in other areas of your life as well. Maybe you do look around and realize that the only thing you have going on sometimes is your work or is whatever it is that you're focused on. Because um, it's like you can't rely on whatever this is. I can't tell if this person, excuse me, <clears throat> if this person's already present or if this is just something that you're not. It's in your mind or it's in your energy um, as to what's holding you back. Um, it's interesting because they're showing me that you either have gotten attention from someone or you will be soon. There's something about timing. There's also a connection that you have to this person. You guys haven't talked to them. My throat's closing up. <clears throat> My throat's literally closing up out of nowhere. I don't think you've talked to this person, whoever this is. Um, they might be coming in, um, soon-ish, whatever it is. It feels like things are already kind of aligned, um, for that meeting. This person could be a um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> that was interesting. My throat literally, I don't know. My group number twos, please. What do they need to know about their love life? What do they need to know, please? What do my group number twos need to know about their love life? So even if you're not really up for it, it feels like now is actually a really good time for you guys to get clear as to what it is that you are going to want out of a connection or a relationship. Basically getting your, um, oh my gosh, I don't even know what it's called. Um, I mean, I do. It's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? Compromise. <laughs> compromise. Um, I'm a Taurus, so compromise, you know, it's interesting, but, um, yeah, thinking about what is an absolute need, what is, um, what, what are you willing to compromise on? Like, what's a deal breaker? What is it that you're going to want or that you need now? <laughs> you know, yes, it's part of, look at that, the lovers, what's best for you. Now, yes, you know, it is good to put these things out there to manifest, but more so, um, the concern being that when this person comes in or you do start something new with anyone, um, you're going to want to have these things already in mind and kind of in place. They're only going to help you by having these kinds of boundaries, um, looking out for yourself, you know, as well and not getting lost in a situation. Not saying you would, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes we get a little 
lost in the sauce when we get excited about somebody. All right. We have Gemini energy coming through with that lovers. What do my group number twos need to know, please? That's our love life. <clears throat> All right. We have the high priestess. You guys could already feel this coming. Very interesting. Why is there so, there's like, I don't know. It's either party vibes or celebration vibes, or we're reaching a milestone. If you believe in this sort of thing, you could even feel uh, like twin flame energy or like soulmate energy. You're meant to be energy. You guys could already be picking up on this. It's really interesting um, the way it's coming through because I feel like you guys are being shown signs or there's a feeling that you're getting. Maybe you're having dreams. Maybe you even dreamt that you're with your person. Maybe you can't see their face, but you know it's them type of vibes because um, it feels like you guys are pretty intuitive and receptive to this. We have Pisces energy coming through. <laughs> it's interesting because there's a level of nervousness that keeps coming through. Maybe you guys are nervous to date, or maybe you're nervous to finally come together with this person. Um, the reason I say this person is because it feels like this person is kind of a big deal. And I don't know if it's because you feel that way or if because they're actually meant to be a big deal in your life. I'm not trying to minimize them in any way, but I'm just kind of giving you different perspectives um, because it feels like there's something about it that you're just kind of like, it unsettles you. Maybe it's because you imagine you can kind of maybe see scenarios. I'm going to go ahead and say, maybe you even see a life with this person. Maybe you even see this is the type of person that you see them and then you get like a flash, a flash forward, all like TV show style to like you guys walking into your first home together. Like, I don't know. It feels like it's something like that. Some of you guys could be having some kind of visions. And in return, look, I recognize that. I know what it feels like to know something's coming. And at the same time, it's kind of nerve wracking because you don't know how, you don't know when, you don't know if you're tripping out, you don't know if this is real. And it does feel like there's something here that kind of gets to you in that way. Um, there could also be an, uh, some kind of, again, I don't, I keep hearing compromise or there's something here that um, there's a decision to make. Maybe someone would have to make some kind of change in order for this to work. And that's where the anxiety is coming in. How would this ever work? Um, because it does feel like whatever this, this connection is, whatever this union is, there's something life-changing about it. Again, I can't tell if that's your perspective on it and that's what you're feeling or if that's actually what they're showing me. So I'm just going to leave that there. All right, why the high priestess? Oh, wow. Interesting. So you guys are going to kind of keep this under wraps as well. It feels like there's an unspoken, it feels like unspoken love, but it's also a, some type of bond. Distance keeps coming up in some way, shape, or form. So for some of you, that could be an issue. Um, this also feels like, I feel there's an urge here not to resist. Because you're like entering a new era. Maybe that's why you're also a little nervous is because you are about to enter a new era. And if that energy that I was picking up on in the first part of your read said anything, it feels like there's a lot there that you maybe don't want to repeat. Or, um, it, you know, it's something you don't want it wasting your time. So maybe that's what you're also kind of feeling. Why the storm? There is, uh, you, so... For some, not for everyone, but you guys, this might be a long distance thing or um, there's something here that's making you nervous. Someone would have to walk away from something in order to go towards this. And I'm not seeing that it's hopeless. I'm just seeing you have concern over it. It seems like there's something very solid in place, um, meaning your connection, whatever this dynamic is, that feels like you're pretty certain about it, but the concerns come um, on the side of how would we move this forward or um, someone would have to move or someone would have to leave something behind. It could be this person's decision or they're the ones that need to kind of choose. It feels like someone here has got some, 
some kind of option that would change everything. One more, please. This could even be you. Like, do I want to be single? Is this like going to give me enough? So again, it's, that's why it's important for you guys to know what you need um, in order to identify if this is going to be able to fulfill that. I do feel like there's a lot of parts to this connection and this person that does, um, it does bring you what you want, but I feel like there's more to it right now when it comes to your side, like get clear, um, go deeper is almost what I'm hearing. Okay. If you guys were wondering, like if this is someone that you are already fully aware of, it does feel like there's going to be a coming together. It does feel like there's some kind of milestone that's reached. It does feel like there's something elevating, but at the same time, we're unsure. Okay, where where to from here? What's next after this? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Anything else my group number twos need to know about what's next? For them in love anything else my group number twos need to know what's next for them in love with their love life what else do my group number twos need to know it feels my nose just started itching there's um i feel like there might be some triggering or there might be kind of a time when you kind of have to get oh well, for lack of better words sorry friends get a hold of yourself um, in some type of way, because it feels like your thoughts, your anxiety at times, or your nerves, your what ifs um, might kind of get to you sometimes. So just keep that in mind. So there is a new beginning that's coming about. Um, it's just, it feels like it's not for, for some of you, not for all of you. For all of you, this is exactly what you want. But for some of you, it shows up and it's just not the either exactly what you want or there's still some kind of delay or there's still a reason why, you know, I, I don't know. It just feels like there's still a little something going on that you're not fully maybe happy. No, I'm not. No, I think you are happy, but it feels like, I think at the end of the day, when it comes to this connection, there's something about how you view culture, tradition, family, expectations. Maybe you've gone to therapy and have done a lot of work, or there's just a lot of kind of wisdom, or there's something very traditional here. And part of that earlier, I said, what are you willing to compromise on? Maybe it's relating to that as well, because it feels like that's where maybe there's some kind of a uh, sore, calling it a sore spot is almost like too much. There's just something there that kind of sticks out a little bit. Um, that Nine of Cups card, it came out reversed, but I took it upright. So that's the feeling that I get is that there's just something there that isn't quite what you want it to be. But I do see you working through it and I do feel you getting past it. That's why I took that upright because I do feel that essentially you are going to get what you want, but it is going to require you to kind of um, speak up or to just know what it is that you want. Um, this person could have some tendencies that are just kind of not good with that King of Wands in reverse, that Ten of Swords in reverse, and that Devil card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Um, but it just feels like commitment. Maybe it's fear of commitment, or maybe it's things that have happened in the past that have kind of kept you feeling stuck. Maybe there's some issues with codependency or something. Um... And it says it, this is kind of, you already know this. It feels like this is something that you already know or you have a feeling about that's an issue with this person because you are getting this new beginning, but I do feel you asking yourself if this person or this situation can actually fill um, that, you know, that, fill that, what is it? It's not a void because you don't have a void just because you don't have this person, but it's like fill that desire for you or those needs, the, whatever it is that you want, right? Like I said, it's just going to be easier for you to know, being clear as to what it is 
that's important to you. That it seems like this person's independence or your independence is coming through. That might be an issue for someone. Um, not for everyone, but you'll kind of know. There's something here. Maybe you even feel like there's too much independence in this connection or you want something different. It also feels, though, that you're like willing to work hard at this or you're like willing to work towards something to see progress. But the thing is, friends, you have to know, I feel like you're going to see progress and then there's going to be a step back. It's almost like you can't even get this person to really show up consistently. Um, when they do, it's all good, you know, but then there's something inconsistent about their behavior. Maybe their communication is also an issue and that's what's inconsistent. But yeah, I feel like there's definitely something new heading towards you guys. We have Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries energy coming through. All right, my group number twos, let's pull some Oracle cards for you before we close out your reading. Thank you, Spirit. More messages, please, for my group number twos. Messages for my group number twos. We have movement. Yep. Stop and go. So when this person goes or when it's in the stopping, it's like this is the period of time of reflection, you know? You also have to have your boundaries um, in place, my friends. It's just going to be healthier and benefit, healthier for you and benefit you. All right. We have reflection and we have magic, a reminder that you are the magician. Um, but you do have to recognize here if there's something that you need to kind of be a little firmer about when it comes to this person or people like this, having boundaries in place. Speaking up, stating your needs, not being afraid. Um, you'll know if that message is for you. All right, my group number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Now, this reading is meant for singles, but really, it's anyone that just needs messages and love. So if that's you, welcome to your reading, my friends. Today, we're going to be looking into your love life. We'll be seeing what's currently going on. That'll help you identify that this is indeed your group. And then we'll be looking into what you need to know and what's going to be coming up for you in love. Just a reminder, friends, it's a collective reading. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. Um, it's okay if it's not your story. It's also totally fine if you're triggered. Um, if I happen to talk about an energy that you want to know nothing about, all you have to do is click off the reading and don't claim it. Um, I respect that, you know? So yeah, just don't engage. Get out of here. It's not your story, kid. <laughs> all right, friends, group number threes, let's go. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, what can you tell us, please, about their love life? What's currently going on with my group number threes in their love life? What do we need to talk about today, Spirit? Messages for my group number threes and what do they need to know? What's going on in their love life, please? Messages for my group number threes, please. What's going on in their love life? What's going on in my group number threes love life, please? All right, which way do you want to go? Some of you could be dealing with an, oh my gosh, as I said that, we're putting this back. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or some of you guys are healing through something in regards to love. You could be, um, yeah, maybe being patient or you have a wish. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. We're going to put the rest of them back. Too many. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So some of you are maybe recovering from something, maybe a past heartbreak or feeling lonely. Maybe for some of you, it's your mental health and you're coming out of like a, some type of, you know, episode or, you know, those periods of time that sometimes get to us. Uh, or maybe you're trying to come back together with someone or you're hopeful about coming back together. It feels like things are getting better. We have the page of coins. Some of you guys could be 
going out with friends or they're helping you through something. We have Knight of Coins. You guys could also be focusing on your home or your work, um, your material world. Maybe you guys are taking your time. If you guys are already kind of talking to someone, it feels like you're trying to get to know them better. You're taking things slowly. It's kind of helped you in a way. Um, but at the same time, it feels like there's a little bit of a stalemate or there's a little bit of indecisiveness or maybe you're wondering what to do next. We have the strength card coming up. Um, it immediately makes me feel like there's something important maybe coming up for you in Leo season or someone here could be a Leo. Why the star card, please? Group number three, the love life. Yeah, it feels like you guys are feeling better. There's something that you're getting over or you're feeling better. Um, you guys could have been on some kind of repeating cycle or, um, you know, again, maybe if this was like a bluesy period for you or something that you were kind of going through and struggling through, it feels like it's getting better. Um, it feels like something needed to run its course or there was a timing factor. Again, I don't feel like this is the first time that this happened in some way, shape or form. Why the page of coins, please? My group number three is their love life. You guys could be going out, getting out more. Again, I'm getting the sense of friends. It feels like if there is a specific someone, again, you're taking your time, but it's flirty, it's fun. Maybe you're not trying to plan too far ahead for this. Maybe you guys are taking your time with dating as well. You only want to go out as friends, perhaps. Yeah, you're like, I'm so good by myself right now, or I'm in such a good place um, that I don't know if I want this or I need this or what is it that I want next. It feels like you guys are vibing pretty well with yourselves or the way that things are right now. It feels like there's a level of being content. And if something were to come in, maybe you'd be open to it and welcome it. But um, I don't necessarily think that you guys are actively maybe like really trying to go out there. I feel like you guys are going out. I feel like you guys are out there, but it's not in a way where you're like, you know, I feel like you're just having fun. You're trying to keep it light. Maybe trying to figure out what it is that you do want. I feel like you guys have a lot of people around you that have little crushes on you, to be honest. You could view them. They could be a little younger than you, um, or you could they could just view you, like put you up on a little pedestal, or maybe, um, maybe you guys have some type of following or a lot of people know who you are. You're seen with that Empress and that star card. It's like you're seen, um, and people see you maybe, um, if you have some kind of platform, social media, something like that, where you put yourself out there, maybe that's where you have kind of like these little admirers. Maybe it's your job position, you know, just throwing things out there because it does feel like you have these little energies popping up and trying to be all cute and sweet. And you're like, oh, that's, I love this. There's a lot of passion around you. But you're just like, that's cool. You're not really jumping to anything or, um, yeah. I don't think any of these offers or any of these things, you're taking them very seriously. But it feels like you're in a very healthy, place, um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, all of the above. All right. My group number threes, hopefully that resonates because I love that for you guys. Let's see what you guys need to know about your love life. Thank you, spirit. What do my group number threes need to know about their love life? I do feel you guys have a lot of little, like, people buzzing around you. I just saw like a little beehive. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit. What do my group number threes need to know, please, about their love life? What do my group number threes need to know about their love life? What do my group number threes need to know about their love life, please? What do they need to know about their love life? The hermit. You're keeping to yourself. And just as you're keeping to yourself, it feels like there's someone coming towards you. They're saying, I come in peace. <laughs> um, you guys are vibing by yourselves. Let's see what this is. What do they need to know about their love life, please? What do my group number three need to know? Now, if this isn't that you're, that someone's coming towards you, I just feel like you're kind of hesitant. Um, you're not really 
I don't know. I feel like maybe you get the urge to get back out there, go out there. I don't know what that means for you guys. That could mean something different for, you know, but it's also something that you don't really want to make a decision on or, you know, I feel like you're a little back and forth about whatever this is. Maybe this energy is a little back and forth. We have the Ace of Swords. Maybe you're waiting for clarity to come in. You're you're waiting for something. What's What do they need to know? What do my group number threes need to know? Again, there's an energy here of Leo. So you guys... Uh, if you guys have been really bored and just keeping to yourselves, I feel like things are about to spice up for you. It does feel like this energy is going to be here, um, I'm going to say pretty quickly. And it's a timeless reading, but it feels like it's not too far, too far ahead. If you guys catch this when it comes out, it feels like it's Leo season. Um, or there's something about, about that time of year. Um, I feel like it's really exciting. I feel like something, it's like, it's clear to you or it's revealed to you. Maybe you get a message or something and you're feeling really good. I feel like you're going to be up to something that goes from being all by yourself to having this excitement, this, this passion that's really fun for you. I feel like you're going to be content. Why the hermit? What do my group number threes need to know? About their love life. Yeah, you guys have a new beginning coming. You guys could be, um, I feel like you're going to be hearing from someone, getting a message out of nowhere when you're, it's going to be when you're by yourself or you're just minding your own business, my group number threes. It could be an Aquarius that's messaging you with that, those swords and that star card and the fool. That's also Aquarius energy. Um, for some of you, it could be towards Virgo season, Leo, Virgo, they like depending on where you live where i live that's late summer why are the two of swords in reverse why the ace of swords uh yeah so you weren't looking for this person this person's gonna come i just said seek you they're gonna seek you they're gonna seek you out um and it feels like they catch you off guard with the way that they do it, but you're, you're happy. It like leaves a good impression it because this person takes initiative. You're going to be really attracted to the way that they show up. They're going to show up and it's going to be obvious that they kind of took control or they, you know, they're kind of masking up here. They show up and they're confident and you're just like so attracted to that. My group number threes, I do feel you're going to be getting news from them. They're going to be telling you something that makes you happy. They show up in a way that you're like, yes, if you're going to show up, this was it. Why the magician, please? Oh, yeah. Um, someone's been manifesting this reunion. I. It's interesting. I said reunion. It could be a new person for some of you. But this reunion, okay, so if it's not a reunion, it feels like it's, uh, there's something definitely that's matching the bill for you. Remember when I said, like, um, it, it just feels like, I, I just stopped because I was like, wait, is this that reading that I was saying that in? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you guys resonated with another pile as well. But um, yeah, it feels like someone's been manifesting this. Look at this two of cups. Oh my gosh, you you might even like, I don't know, maybe some of you can see yourselves being married to this person or that you guys have similarities. It feels like you feel so connected to them. And there's something about a timing factor. The timing had to be right here. And it feels like it's about to be. So don't be discouraged if you're all keep into yourself, minding your own business. If you're wondering what's next, it feels like it's already at play, to be honest with you. It feels like there's going to be healing that happens regarding a situation that couldn't take off in the past, or there was a missed opportunity, or someone is fearful of missing an opportunity. And that's why this is going to start kind of rolling out. I feel like you already have indicators of this. Maybe that's why you're 
just kind of chilling and not really doing anything. Um, wondering if you should move on. No one's telling you to wait, but it does feel like something's about to pop in for you. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Now let's ask, um, yeah, let's ask about that situation. What's next for my group number threes? Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us about what's next, please, for my group number threes in love? When it comes to love, Spirit, what's next for them? What's next for my group number threes when it comes to love? What's next for my group number threes when it comes to love? My group number threes. What's next when it comes to love, please? I have the magician. You guys have been manifesting this, and guess what, bitches? It's about to come knock, knocking. <laughs> knock, knocking on your phone, on your door. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, there's an emphasis here of... Um, Something's about to show up real unexpectedly. The cards really want to talk. They're saying this is going to make you happy. Um, some of you could unexpectedly meet this person or connect with this person if you don't know them already. You could meet them at some kind of um, gathering or an event, some kind of party, celebrating something. Now, if you already know who this person is, it feels like there's going to be an unexpected shift in your connection that's going to leave you feeling very happy very and you kind of you stayed on your throne you didn't have to go anywhere you didn't have to get up to find this this came to you there is a feeling of anxiety or nerves or feeling a little bit maybe stuck maybe that's coming from the other side maybe this is you being a little low-key nervous maybe this person makes you a little nervous even if you don't show it by the magician again this this energy, this star card, you're healing something here. This connection is going to come in and bring healing. If it's with a specific person, um, this is someone who you were in a disconnect with or feeling left out or lonely. Um, it feels like they're about to return in some kind of big way. Um, that's not for everyone, but if you are in the group that came here with Kind of a person you're already kind of dealing with that's what i'm getting why the tower please they're like because it's on it it's the oh my god i just started hearing return of the mac oh my <laughs> i don't know if anyone like no nah, you guys should know that song i i see the the age brackets that watch this um they're returning guys it's the unexpected return it's when you least expect it you're not looking for it you're not uh, yeah. Leo season. You guys, I feel like this might happen in Leo season. Uh, I feel like we're almost there. Maybe like another week and a half, two weeks. Um, there's a lot of courage here, but there's also a lot of happiness and feeling content. Why the four of one? Someone's coming in to get you out of hiding, to come back together. Someone here could be visiting you at your home. Look at this. They might bring you something as well. If they show up to your home, this is the kind of person that maybe won't show up empty handed. Why the Eight of Swords? Who's nervous here? Oh, uh, someone's, we have Devil, we have Ace of Wands, and we have the High Priestess. I feel like this has been heavy on someone's mind. Um, it's very lusty. It's, there's a lot of um, like telepathic attraction or maybe you guys are psychic or this person is also very spiritual. It feels very sexual, to be honest with you. It feels a little obsessive as well. It feels like it's been a long time coming. And it feels like this person had been ignoring their feelings for a while, to be honest, and something's about to be made clear interesting this is someone you have unfinished business with my friends we have a taurus capricorn virgo aquarius aries and lots of leo and scorpio as well now just because those signs don't match up to your story it doesn't mean that um, the rest of it doesn't but sometimes you guys like to hear that 
additional information, my friends. All right, let's pull some Oracle cards for you before we close out your reading. Thank you, Spirit. What else can we tell my group number threes when it comes to their love life? My group number threes and their love life, please, Spirit. We have energy. We have balance. So um, whatever's happening here with this person, it's coming in more balanced as well. One more, please. Thank you. You guys have been manifesting this. And to be honest, TBH, I feel like it's, um, it's vice versa as well. I feel like if this is a person that you already know, they have been manifesting you. If this is not a person that you already know, they have been manifesting meeting someone like you. Whether they know it or not, this could be thoughts of why can't I meet someone that's fill in the blank or, you know, like their dream person is almost what it feels like. We have going with the flow. Maybe that's what you've been trying to do here for a while. We have comfort and we have passion. So someone here, um, again, money, material, uh, home. I feel like these things are important to both of you. You guys could be counterparts in some way, um, share similar stories or have kind of similar ideas as to family, relationships, home, whatever it is. Maybe you guys even have common goals. Um, I feel like you guys are very comfortable together and I feel like the energy between you is pretty obvious. Passion was coming through as well. All right, my group number threes, that's what I have for you today. I got to catch my breath now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.